Hey there everyone, today I'm going to be doing an event run for the new event, uh, the Nightfall. Uh, it's another appearance event and um, it's not quite a rumour start, not quite a map start, it's, it's a, a new kind of thing where, uh, hold on a second. It's a new kind of event, uh, it reminds me of a bounty, um, which was uh, a long time ago. But anyway, so it's a little map, a little circular map, um, that essentially you run in, kill enemies in different places, and then uh, then more enemies spawn. Anyway, so the event items, um, I haven't actually done a full breakdown of the stats. Uh, essentially what they're doing with the, uh, with the event items at the moment is just making them slightly better each time. Um, and they're switching up where the stats are on the equipment. Uh, the staves are always the same. It seems, but anyway, uh, so the main thing you want to look at is actually the set bonus. Um, the difference there is uh, dodge instead of parry, and actually if you look over the stats, um, like I said, I didn't do a breakdown, but just kind of looking them over, this set, new set seems more parry, or so dodge orientated rather than parry. Um, anyway, so my skill setup is the normal setup. I switch out to uh, healing fountain a bit. Um, I actually skipped the last event set. Uh, I couldn't get the staff from one, so I just I decided I wouldn't do it. Um, yeah, so let's go into it. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, hold on one second. Right, okay. This one is fairly straightforward, um, it's got a few challenging bits, but um, there are a few things you can do to make it a little bit easier. Uh, you get some um, uh, some lights helping you along the way, and so it's good to go around with them, and they go around anti-clockwise, uh, you'll see I do this. You might have uh, recognised this person from the previous event room, a little bit better now. I think they were like level 12 last time or something. <laughs> They've been enjoying the game. Okay, so you start by running up here. Um, you don't need to worry about saving anyone in this. Uh, the bonus is for surviving yourself. So, um, yeah, they can die, it's fine. But you can actually heal these knights up. Um, that there, it's an easy little encounter. Now up, uh, up here is where the Lady and Thief spawns. I hope I don't keep getting this much lag. Um, you can see there's a. Um, the enemies were actually seem to. Oh, okay. Last time they sat still, I killed the Lady and Thief. Um, but in each of these little areas, there is a flag there, which, if it wasn't so laggy, I might be doing a bit better. Um, right. So you want to take down the flag bearers first, for obvious reasons, um, and then otherwise there are the, um, I think they're called the dead eye executioners or something, they are the axe throwers which were common enemies in the story, um, and they, they do a lot of damage, they are mostly dead eye, that's it. So I like to focus on them first, there I didn't because I had to back up. Oh wow, they actually killed the MD for you as well. Alright, get some ham. So yeah, after a little section, they'll stand still for a little bit and then run on to the next one. They just help out in general. Alright, I hear, I think there's another mystery dead eye, but I'm not going to run in there. The main things you want to watch out for are uh, these grenadiers, you can, you can dodge the grenades, so do that when possible. Otherwise, they get annoying knockback. And then um, also avoid the, um, the special attacks, the ones where they glow in red. Uh, those, those melee enemies can do a lot of damage with those. And then otherwise, these, these archers actually pack with a punch. Oh, today it's been so laggy for me. I actually bumped into um, another forum contributor um, in the arena today. And he absolutely thrashed me. I think I, it was uh, I got five, five score or something, 
Um, just the enemies were dying before they even appeared on my screen. They, <laughs> it was, it's been bad today. Alright, this is the dead eye. Yeah, so I think for this one, normally what I do is I run in and um, take out the flag bearer here. The dead eye's just back here. So I take that out straight away. Before then backing up. As you can see, the, these archer knights, they, they stay alive pretty well, as long as you um, are running in just to put the head in. Ah, uh, that archer knight's going to die now. Let me three dead eyes over here, as you can see. And now I'm just going for the captain, just because. The archers don't avoid the, um, the special attack, so they will die from there. Um, uh, from the, from them very quickly. Right now, this is the the next part. This is when uh, two bosses come in and all these flag bearers appear. So you want to take down these flag bearers without a doubt, um, because they'll heal up the bosses and all that kind of stuff. They respawn after time. Uh, it's quite a long time. I should be able to finish it before they come back. But yeah, that's it. It's two of each, run around this other circle. Anyway, so now these two bosses, you want to take down General Deft first, just without a doubt, he's, um, he's the damage dealer. The other one is slow moving and just, like, he doesn't do so much damage. But he has got a um, pull in attack when he does his, uh, this, which you can cancel by using a teleport, which I highly recommend. Uh, this one, I'm just going to keep him alive for a second. He run, uh, runs in, he's got quick attacks and slow attacks like that. And then he's also got the spin attack, which does a lot of damage. And, uh, just kind of, yeah, he's doing it now. If you get it by that, it knocks you back. And I think it will only really hit you once. But um, it takes off about half my health. And can be very irritating. And then this guy is just very slow. So, not a problem. going to be a problem now because it's going to keep it up. It just extends it. But yeah, this this, um, this event isn't too difficult at all. Um, when he does that pull in, like he doesn't follow it up with any quick attacks, so it's only the other um, the other boss you need to worry about. Right, let's finish him off. Yeah, when you do the teleport cancel, it doesn't. I'm, Actually no, uh, I haven't really paid attention. I was going to say it doesn't really, um, it doesn't do the teleport. It just sort of cancels them both out. Oh no, it does do it. Oh, actually, I think I've got a second teleport there. Anyway, that's uh, the way how to avoid it easily. So that's the event. Let's see what I've got. I've actually only done two runs so far, which is why. Um, why well, I didn't know exact the exact positions of the dead eyes and that kind of stuff. Yes, the star, lovely. <laughs> Glad I carried on the video. Okay, I'll see you. Um, I'll see you soon. I'm doing a tournament, um, tournament overview, a showcase, whatever you want to call it, of. Uh, what is it called? Blackthorn Tournament. That will be coming out later today. So I'll see you all then.